Hi everyone and welcome to the meditation. I'm Sarah and for this meditation we're going to do a heartbeat meditation. In it, we're going to first get centered and focus on a part of our body and really take our time with it. Really explore what we're feeling and then we will move to the heart, to the wonder of feeling our own heartbeat. We're going to really feel it pulsing in our chest and then throughout the rest of our body. Before we begin, I'm Sarah and I create meditations and videos that help you take that idealized person that you have of yourself in your mind and make it a reality. And one way to do this is through meditation. So find your space. Make sure there's no one around who could disturb you. And that includes from your phone. Make sure it's on silent so you're not tempted to become distracted in any way. The only distraction here will be the ones of your own thoughts. So make that happen and find your space. This meditation can be done sitting up or laying down. Laying down, you might get even a better sense of the pulsating parts of your body. So if you do have space and availability, I do suggest you lay down for this. Whether it's in a bed, whether it's on the floor, on a cushion, wherever you find space that's clean and you're willing to lay down for this meditation. And now let's begin. This meditation will be focused on your body. So to center ourselves for this meditation, we are going to concentrate on our hands and our fingers. Our hands and our fingers have the most sensors in them, so they are the most sensitive to touch, which makes sense since you touch and handle so many things with your hands. We're going to start with your left hand. That's all I want you to think about right now is your left hand and actually feeling what your left hand feels. So wherever it's placed, whether right next to you, whether on your lap, take this time to really feel your left hand. All of the sensations, all of the lack of sensations, the air that touches your hand, the potential tingling in your hand. It might be easier not even to take the whole hand, but to go finger by finger and really pinpoint where you are feeling this. So take your pointer finger of your left hand and wiggle it a little. Just a little bit of motion to show that you are in control of it and then let it go and feel it. Feel that left pointer finger. Is there buzzing? Is there a sense of coolness? Is there a sense of warmth? Is there a sense of, of nothing? Do you feel more at the very tip of your finger? Do you feel less? And what is your finger sitting upon, resting on, what does it feel like to touch something else? 
to place the weight on something else. You'll feel that in your left pointer finger. We're starting slowly on the left hand before we go to the right because normally as we get more attuned to our bodies, we get a little bit more aware and able to feel into whatever part that we're designating to. So the first thing that we concentrate on, we will take more time than the next because we have to feel into it to get settled it's not easy just picking up at a meditation and zooming through your body in a body scan or, or whatever you're focusing on in the particular meditation. That's hard to do. So take this one step at a time. The next step is to move to your second finger your third finger, and your fourth finger. It should be a little bit easier for you now than it was just to focus on your first finger. So take all three of those and feel them separately together. Feel them. including what they are resting on. What sensations do you feel? Maybe you get distracted by another sensation in the body, some sort of pain. Let's try to dismiss that. Brush it away for now. Or just sit with it. And then return your attention back to your left fingers. You can include the thumb now here as you get centered into your left hand. Now the palm. What does the palm of the left hand feel? How is it different than the rest of your fingers? And how might that feel to the top of your hand? Shift your attention and release the palm of your hand and what you feel and switch to the top of your hand. Is it touching a surface or is it not? Is it hot? Is it cool? Is it throbbing? Can you feel the last things you did with your hand just by feeling the sensations within it? Now take the left hand as a whole, taking in the top of it, the palm, and each finger as an entity, not separate, but as one. Feel it. We start simply and feel big things, am I right? Now let go of the thought of your left hand and all that comes with it because we are going to make a switch to the right hand. Make that switch and feel how easily you were able to from one side of the body to the other. Your attention can go wherever you let it go. 
It, of course, can trail off and be centered elsewhere, but you can refocus yourself. And here you are on your right hand. We will start here as well with the fingers. Take them as you'd like to take them. Pointer finger, middle finger, ring finger, thumb, pinky. Go through your fingers and feel the sensations here. And whether you are left-handed or right-handed, this might give you an indication about how handedness and what handedness you are just by, just by what you feel. If you're right-handed, maybe you feel more over here with your tired fingers. Maybe there's more vibration. Or maybe... There's none of that. Maybe there's no difference. Even a lack is something to notice here. Now make your way to your palm of your right hand and let the fingers you are feeling disappear as you change the flashlight of your attention to that area. To the palm. As you rest your hand, do you find that the palm is taking the weight of these things? The weight of the hand? Or is it another part? Maybe you switch to your fingertips. Maybe a lot of it, of the weight, is going to your fingertips. Or maybe it's going to the back side of the hand. And I want you to switch your attention from the palm to the back side of the hand. Feel into it. There is no right or wrong way to feel here, ever. There's just the feeling. And your mind's thoughts might intrude, and that's fine. Just give them a gentle push aside and recenter your attention to the hand, to your right hand. This could happen a hundred times. And there's no need to worry or dig deeper into the fact that your mind wandered. It is as simple as pushing it aside. It's not the easiest thing to do. It's simple, but it's not easy. But with anything, repetition will get you there to where you want to be. So your right hand, now take it as a whole, all of that hand as one. And now release it. We are now going to the heart of the meditation where we draw our attention to the heart. Whether you are laying down or seated, we can get in touch with the pulse of our heartbeat. Now that we have attuned ourselves to our body, we are more able to reach the heartbeat. 
So I'm going to let you explore and find that heartbeat. I'm going to be silent for a minute and you are going to find where you are pulsing in the heart and feeling it in your ears. I know you can get to this point of feeling this. So go ahead and explore. Do you feel it? That magical heartbeat. The magical pulse. You can feel it maybe even beyond your heart. You may be able to feel the pulse in other places in your body. You may feel that pulse that vibrates throughout your being in your stomach area. You may feel it pulsing through your arms and your hands. Your heartbeat reverberates throughout your body. So feel the steadiness, the repetition of that which keeps you alive, which keeps you here in this moment, along with everything else magical about the human body. And appreciate it. Here you are with a magical heartbeat. Maybe it's magical, maybe it's from the gods, maybe it's just the way we are, but it's a way that shows that we are alive here in this moment, always working involuntarily. Take that gratitude, the gratitude of your ableness the gratitude of your functioning being working all together for you. Feel it. Da-dum, da-dum, da-dum. I've been told that you can control your heartbeat rate just by controlling your breath. Just give it a quick try here. If you tremendously slow down your breath, your inhales, lengthen them and lengthen your exhales, See if you can notice your heartbeat getting just a little bit slower. How did it go? Whether you were able to or not is fine. In fact, even if you are still unable to reach your heartbeat and feel it, that's fine as well. Even though it resides within us, keeping us alive, it sometimes takes some time to really, really get into it and notice it and, and feel it. 
right there in your chest. But it will come with time. And here's where I'd like to close this meditation. You can return back to your attention, to the room around you, opening your eyes and, and coming back here to this moment outside of, of where we just were. We were just in a magical time where we were, were dedicating time for ourselves and to be better to be more present, and I'm so proud of you for doing that. Thank you for joining me today. I hope your day is as meaningful as you make it to be.